Hey kids, good morning. Good morning. And welcome to Colorado Springs. So we've only been here for about a day. So let's recap a little bit of what we've done. Flew from Newark to Denver. From Denver, we went and got some In-N-Out. Had to do it. And then from In-N-Out, we drove down to beautiful Colorado Springs. Saw a little bit of the nightlife, which was amazing. And then we went for dinner at the Cody. D-O-A-T-I. Which was pretty cool. And we had like three different of the stands uh, dishes. It was fries, chicken, and what else would we have? Crab mac and cheese. Yes, which was so delicious. So this morning we got up and we decided that we wanted to have something really yummy. And thankfully, Selena is ridiculously good at finding the dough spots so good at finding the dope spots and today was no exception we got up a decent time and we found this great eatery called what was it called again Homa Bar and Cafe Homa Bar and Cafe let me tell you something guys this was some of the freshest food I've ever had in like quite some time right I said ever like it was forever but honestly <laughs> it was almost like they went into the garden and pulled out the the stuff in the back washed it off and then put it in my bowl it was amazing we had these two different bowls mine had uh, some short rib and fennel and quinoa in it and Selena had the one with the salmon. salmon. I can't remember everything but I'm sure it's on the screen. Okay so here's the dopest part is they had this dish and they were they called them hand pies right and there was one called Momo and if you watched our Nepali videos right then you know we that love we love Momos. Momos. Uh, it wasn't actually a Momo but it was like this this crazy like chicken pot pie empanada baby and it was absolutely delicious shout out to the barista slash i guess hostess hostess yeah guess, for, for recommending it oh we also tried this crazy thing called coffee lemonade um i'm not sure how many people would like it but it was like a cold brew that they it's like 80 percent coffee 20 percent lemonade which sounds weird but is actually quite refreshing. So now we're actually going to be headed to the Royal Gorge Railroad and it goes through the Royal Gorge. Which is amazing. And we're pretty excited. Yeah, if you've never seen it before, it's going to definitely wind up on your bucket list. We've actually never been to it before, but we've done so much research on it. We're like, can't even wait to go. So let's go. Hello. Gotta turn down the AC. Yeah. You know, it's, it's freaking hot. It's hot. It's hot. So we just got off of the, what is it called? The, the Royal, Royal Gorge, Gorge Railroad. I'm looking at the train over there. Uh, it says Royal Gorge route. route. Yeah. Route. 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 English. Am I right? We just got off. We were in the dome car. They have several different cars. The dome car. I believe is on the pricier end. I would say that it was definitely worth getting the dome. All the people who have wrote written reviews saying that it's not worth it. I don't know what they're talking you're about. Crazy. I don't know what they're you're talking crazy. You're crazy. I just don't know what they're talking you're about. You're out of your mind. I wish I knew what they were talking about. I don't know what they're talking about. Right now, because of COVID, there's only 10 people. I thought it was 10 tables being used with 10 people were in our dome it was beautiful i almost didn't go on the deck because i was like whoo it was hot getting in here mm. i can imagine what it's like out there and bugs flying mm. in your direction and it was crowded and all that stuff but honestly um the deck is really nice uh it once was. it's emptied out in Ooh. my opinion yeah but come out went out there when there was more people yeah pro tip go there if you have two people i guess it'd be easier two one of more. you yeah yeah two or more yeah go have one person stay at the table when they're about to call um for everyone to come back in to pay their 
uh, waiters and waitresses. Yeah, they're equivalent to last call. Yeah, basically. Have one person stay at the table and the rest of you go out to the deck because... Yeah. Everybody clears out. Everyone clears out, yeah. which I didn't realize, but now thinking about it, totally makes sense. Absolutely does. So I went out right before they called, like, last call mm -hmm. and to pay your bills. The dome is good because there is a lot to see in, in the gorge itself, mm -hmm. right? And it's not panoramic, which is actually what I thought when you're in the dome car. There's actually a... Um, the, the window goes all the way up here. Yeah, so it's like, for me, it's like a little bit above my head, so I could look straight up yeah. and see like the suspension bridge that you see when you go through the gorge. Yeah. It was beautiful. Like you're surrounded by like all these rocks, um, the river. However, it is $30 more. I think, I want to say, we'll put it, we'll put it up. But if you have the dome and you're either, you have a disability or you're older, we had, there were plenty of older folks. And I mean like probably 65 and up. A few people who had disabilities. And I feel like the dome would be, I don't know how they would get up there if they really, really, if they're in like a wheelchair or something like that. But if they can get up there, they don't have to worry about getting on the deck or walking around too much they just had to get up there and just sit there the whole time yeah hey it was a good experience it was thank you to the team they did great they did great and so now we're gonna drive back to our hotel and relax yeah i think we actually might even make it in time for a happy hour good morning This is the view from our balcony. As you see, everybody has like a little balcony right here. It's pretty. I think it's even prettier in person. And it seems even further away in person. It seems closer. Maybe when I see it later. Anyway, we're doing the last rounds of packing up. Almost left my, uh, my bag here. Thankfully, we do the, the double check before we go. So, Colorado Springs was really cool. I'd love to come back here. Me too. I really enjoyed myself. It was a good time. It was a good time. And this was a cool hotel. We're at the Embassy Suites in Colorado. And yeah. it's pretty cool. The view was pretty good. Even though, like, it wasn't like we, like, sat out there or anything every day. Yeah. And a lot of stuff were just, like, ten minutes away. Exactly. Yeah. And um, the highway, as you heard, was right there. Mm -hmm. And we got a suite. So you can see through that door is another room. I'm backing up. I'm backing up. I'm backing up. What? There you go. Here's the room. Here's the room. Here's the room. Here's come out. And that's the actual bedroom, bathroom, balcony. So, head it out. We'll see you soon. Yep. Wasn't planning on doing all this, but you gotta do what you gotta do for the YouTube. Oops. Am I on video right now? <laughs> <laughs> this is horse poops. Yes. yes, it is. Okay. We are walking on this easy trail for 0.5 miles. Whew. The air Whew. is like, I don't know, thin? It's not thick, but... Mile high? So, oh, I guess it's Denver. Yeah, Denver. Is, so. <laughs> but yeah, 
I don't know if it's my imagination, but yeah, usually something like this I'd be pretty good, but I don't think I'm acclimated to the uh, elevation quite yet. to Denver but we're gonna look at a couple of things left I think it's the Perkins something trail uh, which is behind us near the these rocks up here um, we're gonna walk around there and then we're gonna head to Denver Colorado Springs has been a really good time it's a quaint town it's quite quaint I would definitely come back and I'm really happy that we stopped here. Although it was short, you know how we do. Yeah. It was definitely mighty and we got to see a lot. Yes. And if you're in town, definitely come to garden, the garden, the garden of the gods. <laughs> the uh, food scene is amazing. There is breweries everywhere. This is somewhere I would definitely recommend people if you want to explore a little bit, but also lay back a little bit. Remember to subscribe. Like us if you like us. And we will have a overall Colorado vlog coming up soon. So remember to click that notification button.